All right, here's the amplifier board on the Tentec Hercules 444 amplifier, which really has no coverage on YouTube or documentation really anywhere. The only thing you can find is this scanned document, which I'm glad someone scanned it on the uh, old amplifier here. So anyway, there is a final board we're working on and I'm guessing the outputs are bad, so. The uh, 428s are probably toast. Looks like somebody replaced them because it just looks sloppy in there, like somebody was screwing around these things. Anyway, so I did take this board out, and I found that this this transistor here, uh, this screw was kind of loose, like it wasn't making contact. So this one might have might have gone bad from heat. I don't know. I don't know if it would have taken that one out too, if it could have or would have or should have. I don't know, but. I'm going to assume that both these are toast. There's there's no good way to really check these things, and I don't want to really get them out of here. I don't want to take them out and, and be messing around with the ohmmeter or, or anything before I get new ones that I can put in here. So I can just swap them in there. But anyway, to get this thing out, you want to take out the screws, the screw in the temp, temp sensor here, two screws for this guy here, Two screws for that one, you take those out, you take the four screws out in the corners here of this board and you take out the connectors. So there's a connector here you can take off and there's one here you can take off and take off this little plug that goes to the bias board. And then you can more or less lift off this board and you'll see that there's a copper heat sink down there and a little baffle board here that you can take off. If I can get it off. There it is. And then you're dealing with the bottom of this thing and the uh, transistor. So now the trick is getting these uh, MRF uh, 428s or whatever these are before and not paying RF parts in San Diego for 250 bucks for two of these. There's a place in Italy that has them for 50 bucks. Hard to say if they're Legitimate, it's hard to say if RF parts is legitimate. RF parts probably is, but I don't know. To pay 200 bucks for this thing for a couple of transistors is kind of crazy, right? So I think RF parts is ripping us off and taking advantage of it. Being in San Diego, it's not surprising as a lot of business people are there that make a lot of money doing various things. Anyway, there's the board. I found that the resistance on the other board that works is 7.5K going in through the power pin. So the power pin there, power pin goes through here, power comes in, it lands here, it lands here, goes through um, those blue toroids. So I, I couldn't find anything that really would give these less resistance except that the devices themselves are probably blown up. So I guess I'll replace those and see how it goes. Okay, so that covers that. The other thing that was uh, interesting was I found the other, I found this board didn't have any torque on this transistor, the uh, screws were loose. So I wonder if I flip this over and investigate the other board if the screws are loose. Let's see what they're doing. I guess I could pull the other board and renew the uh, silicon, the uh, bond, the uh, paste, the silicon paste. I may end up doing that. Yeah, these, um, were these replaced? I don't know. I'm going to try and see if these are tight. I guess you shouldn't over tighten these or tighten them unequally. I don't know. Let's see if this is loose. Nope, that's good and tight. That's good and tight. The other one was like really loose, so I think that's why that transistor on the other side went bad. It wasn't tightened down very well. Which makes me think that somebody was fiddling with it, right? That's tight and almost... Well, I need a better screwdriver and this side is what? Loose, tight. It's tight. So those are all tight. Yeah, so this board hasn't really been tampered with. The other one I think was tampered with, so. Oh, wait a minute. 
This is a board that doesn't work. <laughs> I took off the wrong board. So this board is a good board. Silly me. I took off the wrong board. I guess I will repaste the board now and put it back on. Well, that's what I got for not paying attention. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.